In a small town nestled in the hills, there lived a man named John. John was a devout believer in God, and he attended church every Sunday. He believed that God was the foundation of all morality, and that without God, the world would be a dark and immoral place. One day, John met a philosopher named David who challenged his belief in God. David argued that God was a human invention and that morality could exist without the need for a divine being. John was shocked and offended by David's words, and he challenged him to prove that God did not exist. David explained that he could not prove that God did not exist, but he argued that the burden of proof was on those who claimed that God did exist. John found this argument unsatisfying, and he left the conversation feeling frustrated. As the days went by, John began to think more deeply about David's arguments. He started to question his own belief in God, and he began to see the world in a different light. He started to see that there were many good people in the world who did not believe in God, and that there were many religious people who did terrible things. One night, John had a dream where he met God face to face. God told John that he did not exist, and that he was simply a figment of human imagination. John woke up feeling confused and disoriented. He realized that he had been wrong all along, and that morality did not depend on the existence of God. From that day on, John became a more open-minded person. He started to see the world in shades of gray rather than black and white, and he began to appreciate the diversity of human belief. Although he never forgot his religious upbringing, he realized that there were many paths to morality, and that he could no longer judge others for their beliefs. And so, thanks to his encounter with the philosopher David and his dream of God, John learned that the world was a more complex and nuanced place than he had previously thought. He learned that the existence of God was not necessary for morality, and that people could live good and meaningful lives without religion.